Okay, so here we have everything you need, your soldering iron, a breadboard, a breakout cobbler kit from Adafruit. As you can see, I put this one together already. You need some solder, some desoldering braid, some clippers, and your voltmeter. Alright, so as you can see here, I line it up, I put the pins on the board and then line it up with this to make sure they stay straight and in place. You can see both sides. Um, so this is how we're going to get started. And I am by no means a professional. It, this is my first time soldering, so let's see how this goes. Um, so we have it all lined up. Make sure your soldering iron is clean. Do that right now. And then we go ahead and start. We just put some solder on the tip, just enough to get maybe a drop, and just transfer it over to the pin itself. And mine kind of end up looking like Hershey's Kisses, uh, but that's okay. As long as they're, the, the pins are not touching each other, just put a drop just like that. And uh, make sure you don't put too much because then you can melt the board. Um, if you do get too much, then you use a desoldering to remove the excess. And I will show you how to do that in a second because I got too much on the second pin here. Um, and then you just go one by one. As I said, just keep going and uh, you know, double check your work because sometimes the smoke gets in your eyes and you can't see what's going on. But um, you know, just put just enough, just a drop for each one. Just transfer it over to the pin. Alright, so once you get to the last couple ones right here, as you can see I'm almost done. this off and then I'm gonna go back to the one that I had a little too much on I think I had the first two pins touching each other so we use the desoldering we put it on top of um, the excess soldering we just pretty much laid on top and heat it up with the soldering iron and make sure not to remove the soldering iron uh, you see it gets stuck so you have to take them out or off at the same time, that way they come off. Um, if it gets stuck, just heat it up again and then remove them both at the same time. Um, you can see here it's getting hot and as it gets hot it'll just absorb all the excess uh, solder and you can go back and re-solder it if you want. And this one is done. Okay, so this is basically what it looks like when you're all done. Um, so you're going to take your voltmeter, set it on continuity test, and you're going to test it by touching them together. And it's going to beep. So you want to make sure while you're testing this, and I'm testing the two that are closest to each other along the whole side uh, to make sure that none of them are making contact. This is very important or else you might fry uh, anything that you connect out to it. So go two by two. And you don't want to hear the beeping noise. So once you've tested them all, then you know they're all good. None of them are touching each other. And you're all done. Do the same on the other side now. As you can see, it's all done. I already did the other side. So you're going to pop this out. Just make sure you let it sit for a while. Let it cool down. Let the 
let the solder sink in. Shouldn't take too much. Um, so I just pop this out carefully. As you can see, I already did the center ones. Uh, that was actually the first thing I did, and I didn't record it. But it's about it's the same thing, same process. Uh, just make sure you line your pins up with the ones on the Raspberry Pi, so you have your number one in the same place. So thanks for watching.